Welcome to Small Small News. We're your big big reporters. I'm the fabulous Eeny Meeny Moiny, and he's the grumpy Mo. Today we talk about something you're very good at: sleeping. Sleeping. That's true. I can sleep anytime, anywhere. You know that day. <laughs> ah! oh, sorry, nightmare. <laughs> well. Did you know that sleeping too much is not good for you? <gasps> Research shows that oversleeping can result in higher risk of obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. The perfect amount of sleep for adults is between 7 to 9 hours a day and 9 to 11 hours of sleep for school children. Hey, Mo, do you know which nation children hate the most? Examination. Get it? Examination. <laughs> Having good quality sleep is very important. So, go to bed and wake up at consistent times every day, even on weekends. Yeah, keep it consistent! Do not go to bed on an empty or full stomach. Create a restful environment by making sure your room is cool, dark and quiet. You heard that? Quiet! Shush! If you have a disturbed mind or are facing a problem, speak to an adult about it. You can improve sleep quality by relaxing before bedtime. Oh, I relax by playing games on my phone. I can play it for hours until I fall asleep. That's horrible! Blech. The phone's blue light affects your sleep-inducing hormone, and the games you play stimulates the brain, making it harder to have a restful sleep. What? No wonder I have so many nightmares. Do not sacrifice your sleep, especially during exam periods. Better quality sleep improves the quality of your life and brain power. Brain power! See you next time on Small Small News. Hey, Mo, what do you call a toilet pee? Sleep pee. <laughs> Get it? Sleep pee. <laughs> Welcome to Small Small News. Ugh. We're your big, big reporters. I'm the fabulous Eeny Meeny Moiny, and he's the fussy Mo. Why grumpier than usual? I caught a ride on Chewy to get to work today, but then he went to the vet to remove fleas. Turns out he's allergic to fleas. So how'd you come here today? Did you itch a ride? Get it? Itch? Hitch? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. Today, we're talking about allergies. All living things have allergies, but the extent of the allergies is different from person to person. Yes, some have allergies to food, medicine, the environment. It can lead to a potentially life-threatening reaction called anaphylaxis. And it can happen to animals as well. Did you know that almost 60% of humans cannot fully digest dairy products like milk and cheese? No. It's called lactose intolerance and can cause allergic reactions. No. Yeah, just remember that allergies are not contagious and there are many kinds of allergies and symptoms like a runny nose, Sniff. diarrhea, Ugh. itchiness, scratch, breathing difficulty. Uh -huh. And peanut allergy is one of the most common allergies. It's the most common cause of anaphylaxis in children in Singapore. You're correct. Yeah, and I know. But can you guess what are the rare allergies that people have? Hmm, allergy to tea, coffee, you. No, there are people who are allergic to water, human touch, flowers, money, sunlight, and even exercise. What? Water? So they don't bathe? How do they drink? Ew, won't they smell bad? And exercise? I need to tell my PE teacher about this. Ooh, I think I'm allergic to exercise. <laughs> they still have to shower, but there are medications to help with the itch. And you're not allergic to exercise, you're just lazy. True. Well, if you feel unwell for any reason, tell a teacher or your parent and consult a doctor. See you next time on Small Small News. Yeah, I think I'm allergic to you. Hey. Welcome to Small Small News. I'm eating me, my and he's one more. What is wrong with you? Stop speaking like that. Open your mouth when you speak so that I can understand. Oh. Ah! Oh, oh, all right, close your mouth. Uh, what's wrong with your teeth? It looks like some are going to Changi, some are going to Tuas. And why is there that big space that's big enough for me to put my school textbooks in? Ah, you were so cruel. I don't know why this happened. They used to be perfect and pearly white. Now they are this abomination. Um, see? Shut your front teeth. Please stop smiling. You're freaking me out. Did you see a dentist? <laughs> it's time for a dental lesson. Lesson. Did you know that humans go through two sets of teeth throughout their life? Each person starts off with 20 milk teeth, then progresses to between 28 and 32 permanent teeth. 
Wow! No wonder they have to take care of their teeth, because once the permanent ones are damaged, they're gone forever. That is correct. Brush your teeth twice a day and floss your teeth after meals. Oh, I can do that. Uh, no, 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 not that kind of floss. All these steps help prevent dental diseases such as gingivitis and tooth decay. Hey, Mo, what did the dentist say to the golfer? You have a hole in one. <laughs> Get it? Hole in one? Oh, wait, that's not funny. Hmm. Also, excessive consumption of sugar and processed food will increase your chance of getting oral diseases. Oral diseases! It causes the formation of plaque on our teeth and it will break down the enamel of our teeth over time, causing cavities. Cavities! Wait, animal? There are animals inside humans' mouths? Not animal, enamel. Oh. It is the thin protective layer on the tooth that helps to protect teeth from daily use such as chewing, biting, crunching, and grinding. Fun fact! Enamel is the hardest tissue in the human body. Okay, I'll take better care of my teeth and I'll see a dentist tomorrow. Very good. See you next time for Small Small News. Bye-bye. Or maybe I should see the dentist today. Get it? <laughs> today, today, today. Ow. Uh.